Hi guys, today we will learn about ban on computers and laptops in India. Yes, uh, Anish, uh, what do you like to know about this? Yes, why did India ban import of computers and laptops in India? Uh, see, actually it's not exactly ban Anish. Uh, it is a regulation, some kind of regulation, where actually Indian government wants to uh, do some kind of licensing, where uh, the free flow uh, sh should be cut in. Uh, see Anish, uh, in India, 75% of the imports uh, regarding computers is uh, from China. So somewhere, government uh, wanted to stop this uh, process and uh, also uh, the government has quoted the security reasons but I don't think uh, it's mainly the security reason it's regarding the government's policy government policy like uh, inbound uh, uh, transport was uh, very free and uh, there was no restriction like whoever uh, could have brought the computers and laptops and could have sold but here, here onwards actually there will be licensing uh, uh, through the Director General of Foreign Trade. Uh, anybody who is going to bring in computers or laptops or any uh, personal computers then they may have to get uh, uh, obtained license and uh, uh, they have to, they are monitored and they are supposed to pay the duty. Uh, like the overall free flow will be stopped. Uh, this is what uh, the government has proposed uh, in the manner like uh, only recently about 17,000 crores was uh, allocated for uh, this particular uh, uh, program like Yes Sir, then also coming to HP, Samsung, almost all the computers and laptops are imported uh, and uh, it is freely sold here. Now definitely this licensing will bring in curbs and also it will bring more duty and uh, more revenue to the government as well as uh, it will uh, create more employment uh, because of this particular uh, uh, law implementation of this law uh, this uh, government actually will plan is raking, uh, planning to rake up more revenue as well as uh, more employment in that uh, on those grounds like uh, uh, performance linked uh, initiative of it Okay. When does the new law come into operations? This new law was supposed to start from August uh, 4th itself. Uh, earlier uh, that uh, government had given the notification telling that uh, uh, up to August 3rd whoever has actually drawn the bill of credit uh, and also bill of lading, letter of credit and uh, bill of lading, uh, those people only can import in future like that it was told. But now because of a lot of uh, uh, like uh, resistance came in from all circles. So now actually the government has extended up to November 1st now. And until now actually they say free, they, there is actually uh, opportunity to freely uh, import this material. But afterwards uh, definitely one has to go for uh, that uh, they have to get the licensing, import license for uh, bringing these items inside India. I have one doubt. Yeah. What about for personal use? Ah, for personal use, of course, uh, you can uh, get one single piece of uh, computer or one uh, small form uh, uh, computer or one laptop. Uh, there is actually a, the provision through courier and all you can get it. Uh, but you are supposed to pay the duty for that also. But uh, and uh, regarding uh, uh, like uh, when you are traveling back to India in such cases actually uh, baggage rules will apply so when you are coming back to India you can bring one old computer as well as uh, one new computer uh, with you so such rules are there so that uh, either you have whatever form like whether it may be computer laptop or whatever it is whatever gadget it is you can get one piece of old one and one piece of uh, new one so I don't think uh, for personal use it's going to affect. Uh, it's only for the commercial purpose the mainly this law has been framed. So the people will not find it difficult to get it through courier or any like uh, uh, parcel services or uh, even by baggage rules also it is not affected. 
what is eight eight four seven one uh, HSN code? See, <coughs> this HSN code means harmonized system of nomenclature. This is internationally accepted. For every product, there will be the group of products. There will be one code. There are about eighteen thousand three sixty codes altogether. And this particular uh, eight four seven one, what you are mentioning. <clears throat> is uh, uh, regarding computers and uh, computer related gadgets so for example if you take horse it is 0101 and if you take uh, this uh, uh, next come is uh, cattle that is 0102 then when you take about uh, swine pig that is uh, 0103 and uh, when you talk about sheep it is 0104 so every category every uh, group of items has been categorized uh, pro uh, product listed as uh, this uh, harmonized uh, system of nomenclature and it is internationally accepted for fixing the duty as well as taxes and whatever uh, import duty whatever it is it is decided upon that code so now the government of India has uh, uh, completely in the third regulated it is not completely banned it has regulated HSN 8471 uh, code uh, number items like it means that it is uh, uh, computers, uh, laptops and uh, small form of factor computers, uh, data uh, uh, disks, uh, such things and all. So now actually, uh, strictly speaking, when you're talking, when you're talking internationally, we are smoking, uh, we usually uh, speak about the codes, the suggestion code, so that it will be easily understood about the, those products. Uh, so now at present, it's uh, making news is HSN 8471. Okay. Is there any exemptions in this law? Yeah, yeah exactly. There are exemptions. Uh, like uh, this particular law has been framed by Director General of Foreign Trade uh, according to complying the guidelines of the World Trade Organization. When uh, really when this law came into force, uh, uh, they quoted about the security factors like hardware and all when it's coming and all and most of the sensitive data may be stolen like that it was the reason given but uh, it was not it is but whereas as far as uh, the exemptions are concerned like uh, for research and development uh, there are about 20 items are exempted in this uh, for this r d programs for repairs uh, for returns for exchanges and all like uh, about 20 categories have been listed there so that actually you uh, there are exemptions where, uh, where you can send and uh, bring uh, computers, laptops and uh, related gadgets. So, so uh, strictly it is not affecting the common man. It is not affecting the common man as you, as you asked you, uh, as you, as, you to, as I told in the beginning also that uh, baggage rules are not applied. If we are getting from the Korea like the single piece uh, computer is not applied and for repairs and uh, R&D and other uh, programs are uh, uh, for uh, innovation and all for such things and all there are no actually uh, strict rules uh, for of licensing so there are exemptions about uh, 20 categories there are exemptions so for the common man it's not a big deal but as uh, only regarding the big uh, houses business houses it's going to matter it's going to matter because uh, they were used to bring it uh, all the computers and all these gadgets in bulk in future the prices there are chances of price rising but in fact in case uh, the indian market also rises in the same speed uh, like what i told actually uh, performance uh, linked incentive if it has been uh, put into uh, place then definitely actually prices will stabilize and everything will continue and uh, moreover actually uh, most of the uh, imports were from china actually about 75 percent china and korea so now uh, this is going to really bring a big in impetus in the Indian industry itself. So I think uh, the subject to what you picked up today regarding this uh, ban on uh, laptops and computers or uh, more appropriately told the regulation on uh, uh, this uh, import of uh, uh, this uh, laptops, computers and related gadgets. Uh, uh, it's a really uh, like a very game changer. It is going to make a big change in the Indian in the computer industry in the future. It is going to uh, bring in more revenue and more employment as I believe in, uh, in the law what has been put into force. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good night. Yes, uh, Anish, we will uh, meet you once again with... Uh, with a totally different topic.
anytime, anywhere, whenever we decide to. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.